welcome back to another video. This is week three of Funguary, if you don't know what that is. It is a monthly art challenge that has been held by Fifal over on Instagram this year. And it is, the prompts were various mushrooms and you had to create a character every day of the month of February. Now I, I don't like doing characters so I chose to just do the mushrooms themselves and I also didn't have time to do this every single day so I chose to do her weekly options. She broke it down into four weeks and this week's prompt is poisonous mushrooms. So I will read out the different mushrooms that we have in this selection. We have the poison fire coral, the death cap, the autumn school cap, the Mycena rosea, the verdigray agaric, the Cortinarius iodes, and the Amanita muscaria. So we have a real nice array of colours here. I would say that you could even keep this in the prompt of um, the colourful mushrooms like we did last week. And, and there's a nice different array of shapes and sizes as well again I tried I mentioned this in last week's video I did try and keep them proportionally um, kind of in proportion to one another but um, I don't think I did that very well again and I also had a lot of mushrooms that looked very similar in shape so it was kind of hard to keep them in a cluster like this um, without them all looking very similar obviously the colors would change that but in the sketching process here so onto the artwork I did lay down my washes like I always do I used this really fat brush that I recently was gifted and it was lovely but I think I probably shouldn't have used it for this <laughs> for this use I definitely went over some of my sketching lines a little bit and had to tweak that um, but um, yeah th it was good for laying down these washes though and it was nice to get that pop of color straight off the bat a few of these I did probably lay down a little thick especially with this fire coral that I'm doing currently um, I laid down the colour a little bit thick there and I had to come back in and just remove some of that water um, and just dial down the, the vibrancy of that colour because it would not allow me to work with it after that. Um, so once that first layer was dry of just the washes, I went in and just added a bit more colour, a little bit more depth into it by adding darker washes and some texture and some shapes and shadows and light, um, which worked out quite well. I think overall I definitely... I definitely darken these colours a little bit too much. As you can see with this blue one, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> the paper wasn't holding the water very well today, um, but... Yeah, it, it worked out in the end. Um, the reason this video is up a little bit late is that I've been suffering with migraines a little bit lately and it just took me a little bit of time to get this video out to you, but it, it is up <laughs> it is up just a little bit day, uh, a day late, so that's, uh, that's uh, fine. Um, so yeah, once those watercolour washes were dry, I went in with my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and just added that little bit more depth, a little bit of texture, um, and just added in that finer detail, like the gills um, around you know the 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 corners bits of like this fly agaric here there's a uh, there's little chunks coming out of it there's bits hanging down and i wanted to just emphasize that a little bit um it's little collar underneath um i just wanted to make that look like there's a few different shapes in there not just a flat a flat collar around there so um the pencil's really good for that and I, this is actually my favorite stage is adding this it kind of you kind of curve off the mushrooms a little bit by adding that shadow just ever so slightly around the edge as well. It's quite a lot of fun. Um, but again, I probably darkened some of these mushrooms a touch too much. Um, and I did heavily have to rely on the gouache, um, to be honest. But it was nice to get some varying colours in there. The fly garret's got a very warm red, so I did go in with a bit of orange there. Um, and then went in with a nice deep grey to add some of those shadows. As you can see there I did darken that top um, of that orange mushroom um, but it was nice the, the gills on this larger mushroom here that I'm working on I think they turned out really nice with the pencil um, but there's definitely a little bit of work there and I don't think this is my best week to be honest <laughs> um, but yes the gouache came in very handy this week like I mentioned um, it obviously added all those white dots onto the fly garret that you can see me doing right now it was quite nice to play around with the shapes and the the um, natural kind of uh, randomness of these dots nothing's ever the same and there's a really nice little like hanging down bit of white there which I think adds quite a lot to this piece um, but like I said I did have to add a lot 
um, of that white, especially to the blue mushroom, the, the, the purple mushroom, um, just to make sure that there was a lot of light hitting off them um, and it wasn't so dark and, and gloomy and, and I could get a bit more detail back in there. Um, I did find that this white did take a long time to dry, I don't know why. Um, so when I, <laughs> I did try and go back in with um, some pencil to just add some colour to these white highlights but um, like I said it didn't dry very well, I'm not really sure why. I don't know if the, the damp weather we're getting here in England is, is um, contributing to that but um, I did add some black fine liner in the end, um, which I think I did off camera, just just to add some depth in there that I don't think I could have achieved with a pencil. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll let you watch the rest of this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Please hit that thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in the next Funguary video, which might end up being Friday if my scroller box arrives um, when it should do. So I will see you in that video.